comes off the back of the square. Hodge starting straight in the middle of the ground as well. Luke Bruce gets first opportunity in there with Tom Mitchell for Hawthorne. Saturday afternoon, match of the round. Fantastic to have your company wherever you're watching. Jacobs and McAvoy to do the ruck work. And we're underway. Perfect bounce to start it. Already a hold under some pressure. Brown, Crouch, Douglas. Hot footy right now. He had time to spend it. Didn't spend it wisely enough. Hodge wrapped him up. Now that is holding the ball, but I think you're right. Atkins goes back. Dangerous again. Smith cut it off. Knocked it down. Might get on the end of it. Bruce. And that's a big one against the grain. They'll be coming back for all in. Well, they're able to set up behind the ball at the moment, Hawthorne, because of their forward pressure, which is what they... Yep. Reliance on to allow Burgoyne and Frawley just to position themselves perfectly behind the footy. And there is a bit of a breeze to the right of screen, so these Hawthorne defenders can be really aggressive, knowing that they are not going to get burned over the back. Shields allowed to play onto advantage, goes inside to Rioli. He gets a little cuddle from his captain. <laughs> 13 uncontested marks for the Hawks, so dramatically different from last week. There's that breeze, that's at the goal face, just to cross him a little. Gem of a kick from one of the best players in the comp. There was a good build up from Walker caught behind. Thumped away. Mitchell Gibson caught. Eddie was lurking, couldn't quite trap it. McAvoy, Smith, Mitchell into some space. Douglas had a piece of it, not enough of it. Wide bouncing ball. Boundary line looming. Langford gets there first. Pumps it back. They've got the numbers inside 50. Puopolo. Gunston gets it back to Poppy. Has some space. Doesn't waste it. Yeah, good crumbing there. Uh, really, here it is here. You can see Will Langford running back into space. And it's Pop Poppy up the top of the screen and Cyril and Goes for the mark, good crumb. And even McAvoy was here by himself pretty much. So, yeah, up, up the ground a fair bit. And there's a terrific photo of Rashudo, Modra and Paul Puopolo. Grew up a Crows fan, did Paul Puopolo. Virtual got there first. Frawley. Vickery and Hodge, both there. Well played, Vickery. Excellent block to allow Luke Hodge to mark that. And Langford can get and go. It's an open forward line. It didn't sit for him initially. Smith, the delivery man, opens it up. Doesn't go for goal. Clever. David to Bruce. He's already got one. Langford, he's been on Bruce. And that's causing some headaches for the Adelaide defence. Just the one goal last week, Luke Bruce. This is for his second. You can see that breeze just blowing across him. But he should kick hard and not have that affect the kick. He's got two. Great start for the Hawks. Started on centre wing for me. That that block from Vickery to yeah, all... against his old team today, Ricky Henderson. First game against his old pro teammates. McAvoy to Hodge, and he bursts it long. Bruce, the danger man. Kelly right with him. Did well, didn't wrap him up. Now he did. <laughs> Free kick. Oh, I thought the first one was there, Dwayne. OK. And wasn't called, but just the pressure built with Luke Bruce dangerous with that ball pop. 52 the year before, 57 the year before that. And three goals so far this afternoon. I'll tell you what, the, the Crows coaching box has to do something about this. This forward line of Hawthorne are really I'll empty. Do that out. a few times. Double teamed with Walker. Now he's got three around him. Still good enough. Gets a handle away just in time, kept it in the area. Well, he did well then, Taylor Walker, because that's where Hawthorne are doing well. Feeds it back, so they get out of trouble if Cameron can grab it, and he can't. Birchall puts it to grass, pokes it in rough heads direction. A little more luck this time, Hawthorne's way. Again, Hawthorne just forcing that well, if you're going to get it out, you've got to try and at least get boundary side and allow your defenders a chance to reset to defend again. And he puts it through. Two goals last week. His first of this week for Jared Ruffhead. Yeah, you're right. You're right. If he can get there this year. 
Kelly stands under this. Fiopolo oh! takes a classic. <laughs> Wayne, you called it. Kelly stands under it. That's basically <laughs> pretty much what he did. <laughs> oh, that, that is, is a huge. classic. That That's is a, a classic. massive cat. Oh, <laughs> nice. That is a nice one. <laughs> well, Tom Boyd took a beauty last night. And that is... Stratton, Burton. Hold. Found some space through the zone. Miles pokes at the Langford. Burgoyne running in some space. Releases Mitchell with the handoff from 40. Bends it back. That's against the grain. That's a ripper. His first goal as a hawk for Tom Mitchell. Yeah, and that's that control. Sudden back into their uh, the style of play, which is chipping the ball around, uncontested marks, overlap here from Burgoyne follows up. And then the question has to be asked there, the Crows defender had to go to one. Tommy Mitchell grabs it, and that's a, a really nice finish. So once you let Hawthorne play the game... Five minutes from half-time. Gibson. Couldn't get the knuckles on it. He wanted to get it out. Laird. Atkins. Langford. Rioli. Clever. Bruce. He wants Roughhead to come back at him. Called him back. Got there to make a contest. Fuopolo. Shields to finish the deal from 48. Gold class. Crows have got to end up in the forward half, Brad. Now, you watch here. There's no no players inside D50 for Adelaide. And look at all the space. Now, down the other end, there's so many Hawthorne players that are blocking up the area. Ball comes out, and you kick... I mean, that's a good finish. I was going to say it's a relatively easy goal, but you've still got to finish it from 45. Right. But you're running into a really open forward line. He sits it up. Jacobs. McAvoy bumped off it. Mitchell couldn't quite get a handball away. Looked to throw it. Puopolo tries to back his way out of the trouble. Push in the back. Oh, Puopolo free. Wow, that's a big call now, this one. Oh, these two teams met here. Puopolo was the star of that show. He kicked five in that thrilling Hawthorne win. And that is against the flow of play. Yeah, we'll obviously have another look at it, John Over. McAvoy. Little palm down to Mitchell. Rioli breaks free. Kicks to the square. Smith down there. Needed a kind bounce. Pew up below. Who else? Big goal from the Hawks. Away as well. Rolling tackle on Douglas. Mitchell to the middle. To O'Meara. To Hodge. Sends it long, Talia, Puopolo, Talia with one hand, off hands, Ruffy, tie, he owes him! Got his arms free, Crouch, danger, Stewart, collects, Langford, inside, Burgoyne, Shields hobbling, got it to him, Roughhead, can he get there? Good hands, Ruffy! Mark. And this is the area they've been smashed at, contested mark. So this is a, a big mark. 21 to 6 it is, Ruzzi. Yeah. Mm. Jared, on the mark there. 15 gone. To silence. He's wasted a couple of opportunities. But he injects some life back into his Hawks with just under seven minutes left. They beat West Coast too, wouldn't they? So they did drop. It was a critical loss. And it changed everything yeah. in the final. Certainly changed things for the better for the Bulldogs. Gunston short. And Bruce could line up. Thanks, boy. Gunston.
Keeps it low. Sneaks it in. But it'll be a consolation prize for the Hawks. Yeah, looking across. But it's all about the Adelaide Crows right now. Otten feeds it inside. McKay to complete the deal on the siren. Have we got a new Premiership favourite? The Adelaide Crows. Two down, two wins for 2017.